Oh, Max. It's a lot colder here than back in Hawaii, huh? Oh. It, it's true, guys. We, we left Hawaii. <laughs> My God, you guys, this is a morning, a very, very exciting morning. I'm super, super tired right now, if you can tell in my face, but Miss Mia here came in clutch with the surprises because today, as you can tell, maybe I'm pumping up my water housing and this is because we're going to shark diving. She's freaking surprising me for my birthday and I couldn't be more exciting. Shark diving is something that I've always wanted to do. And perhaps the best part about this entire experience is this is the greatest grand finale to my Hawaii trip that I could ever ask for because I leave tomorrow. Are you not scared? Me is a hammer at this type of stuff. She was born and raised here, so it ain't nothing new to her. But for a guy from Oregon, Mount Hood, grew up on skis and snow, diving with sharks is a lot different uh, of a world for me. So definitely a little nervous. I'd be lying to you if I wasn't, because we're we're going without cages. This is not cage shark diving. This is cageless shark diving. I think that's all we need, right? Yeah, I think so. And a good attitude. What's going on? All right, Not so same much. thing. Shoes. And then when you're coming on, please use the steps right here. Okay. Hold and grab onto. This is the most dangerous part of the trip. Copy that. The most dangerous part is holding poles, not diving with sharks. I like that's that. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Walk on down and then head on in. All right, we made it. First contenders going in to the shark pit. Mia, you're next. Apparently there's sharks all around us. We're going in the water. Let's see what we get up to. Guess what me and Mia just did? What? We went shark diving. You went shark diving? With freaking tiger sharks. Were you in a cage? No! no we were free diving with them. Oh They're just like, snorkeling. God. what are you doing? <laughs> that was the gnarliest experience of my life. <laughs> Hands down, mind blown right now. Thank you, Mia. That was... Unbelievable. Yeah. Everyone's saying that, you know, sharks are this humbling experience and you're gonna think they're all nice and everything. No, that freaked me out more than freaking anything. Now well, I you just- You can tell because it was, it looked like it was hungry. That thing wanted to eat us. <laughs> For a while there, there was nothing to see. We were like, where's the sharks? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. N nothing really happening here. Oh, there's a jellyfish. We were like looking at stuff. And then two minutes later, I turn and this freaking 12 foot tiger shark comes out of the fog right up to my face and I was like oh frozen my tracks the dive guide comes over here starts pushing on his nose and the thing just fades back into the fog the lady on the boat screaming pay attention pay attention there's a tiger in the water and everyone's like what the and mind you the water's murky and it's green and like as sharky as it could feel in Hawaii it starts coming back for the fourth the fifth the sixth time and I all of a sudden just was like okay this is not chill anymore it fully Wanted back to eat and, like, us. Coming straight on like this. It went from like the first, like what I expected, which was to have this eye opening experience about sharks and they're actually nice and whatever, what have you, what you always hear, to at the end of the dive being like, Jesus Christ, I cannot believe I surf with these things. This thing wants to eat us and I'm like looking at it. Whew. All right, now 
now it's time to talk a little bit more about leaving Hawaii. It's true, I'm leaving Hawaii. I'm not going on like a trip or anything and coming back. I'm, a, I'm leaving Hawaii for now. For now. I'll come back eventually. I don't know when, but I will. Say hello, Miha. We're packing up right now, Sikos and I. Uh, we're leaving this beautiful house that we've been calling home for the last few months because we're going home for the holidays and then we have plans after the holidays. See, the plan ever since we got here for myself and the Sikos was to just be in Hawaii for three months and that three months just snuck up on us quicker than I could have ever imagined. It's crazy, I'm sure so many of you ex are experiencing the same thing and you hear it all the time growing up, but as you grow older, time flies faster and faster and faster, and next thing you know, you blink and a chapter of your life is over. This Hawaii chapter with the sickos, for me, is now over, and I'm ready, but I'm also sad. I'm ready because whenever there's a switch of content and a change in my life, I love it. I'm a person that needs change. I grew up in the mountains. I changed my entire life and came to surfing. Now, when I surf for too long, I'm ready to go back to the mountains and ski. Not to mention just the change of scenery. It gets me excited and fuels the passion to make videos when I have a complete 180 flip up again. However, that being said, I'm actually not in Oregon for long, only about three weeks. I'm not gonna elaborate too much here because a lot of it you're not gonna care about, but basically the sickos and I are planning to do this world tour, travel as much as we can while we're young, and uh, really invest in this project that we all have a lot of faith in and we're really happy with how the growth's going, thanks to all of you guys. So, after Hood River, we're heading to our next destination, which I'll keep under wraps. That being said, gonna go get in the water right now. Uh, me and Mia, are, we gotta do a send-off session. I mean, last day in Hawaii, you gotta go surf. There's little waves out front. I'm not gonna vlog getting down there. I just wanna go jump in the water, capture a few waves, share it with you guys, get out of the water, come back, talk about next chapter a few more, and then we'll end off the vlog. So, gonna go get my board, jump in the water before we gotta book a flight later this evening. Thank you guys. Let's go see if Poseidon is providing. It was not great, it was decent. Fun little ones across the way. Okay, more than anything, I just felt like I had to do that. It, you gotta get in the water if you're gonna leave tropical paradise, man. I, I won't be seeing this for a long time and I know the second I get home, I'm gonna just be dreaming of the turquoise blue water and surfing again. It's funny too, I think a lot of people are guilty of that same thing. I'm dreaming of being in hood right now and skiing, but the second I get there, I'm gonna be dreaming of paradise and blue barrels and whatever, what have you. Uh, I think a lot of people get that idea in their head. I'm guilty of it, everybody's guilty of it. Um, that the grass is always greener. You're never happy with where you are, but it's so important to just be present in the moment and uh, enjoy every chapter that life brings you. Take it all in. The Hawaii chapter's coming to an end. I loved it to death, but I need to focus on what's next and be content with what's next. So, little tip out there for everybody. Enjoy the process and enjoy where you are right now. For those of you curious in what Mia's plan is, she's going to Florida for the holidays, I'm going to Oregon for the holidays, and then after that, she's gonna come meet up with me in Hood River for a little bit, and then come with us on our next leg. So, very excited, she'll be joining the trip, don't worry. Other than that, you guys, I don't have much more to say. I couldn't have asked for anything better being a young 20-year-old kid living in Hawaii with all of his best friends was certainly a dream come true, and I am so grateful for this place, the people I've met, and the experiences I've had. Uh, so thank you all for joining the ride, experiencing these experiences with me, and it's, it's just been one of those moments in life that I'm certainly gonna remember for the rest of my life. 
So without dragging this talk on any further, as you can see, room is an absolute disaster and a mess. I got a lot to do. I got a flight to catch, but hey, thank you guys for the continued support as always. This Hawaii chapter, I'm never going to forget it. And thanks to you for being along for the ride with me. But I promise you this next chapter is going to be just as good, just as fun. Can't wait to switch up the content, go experience new things and bring you along for the ride. So thank you, everybody. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna get home, and next video, we're switching things up. Subscribe if you're new here, like the video if you liked it, and as always, I will see you next Friday. Did I time that perfectly? Little too early? No, a little late. Because he covered the camera already. Yeah.